Would you be free from thy body now sin? There's power in thy blood. Power in thy blood. Oh, you and evil are victory win. There's wonderful power in thy blood. There is power, power, wonder working power in thy blood, in thy blood of the Lord. There is power, power, wonder working power in thy precious blood of the Lord. Oh, you be free from your passion and pride. There's power in thy blood, power in thy blood. Cause for a cleansing to cover his time. There's wonderful power in thy blood. There is power, power. Wonder walking power in the blood, in the blood of the land. There is power, power. Wonder walking power in the precious blood of the land. Oh, you be white and not white and not snow. There's power in thy blood, power in thy blood. Since this I lost in this life, give it bloom. There's wonderful power in thy blood. There is power, power, wonder walking power in thy blood. In the blood of the Lamb, the Lamb of God, there is power, power, wonder working power in that precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, Would you do service for Jesus, the King? Yes, power in the, the blood. Power in thy blood. Would you live daily in praises to sin? Just wonderful power in thy blood. There is power, power, wonder working power in thy blood. In the blood. Of the land of God, there is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is power in the blood. Amen. Brethren, wherever you are, allow the blood of Jesus to wash you clean and make you whole. Amen. Because there is power in the blood. Brethren, there is no more time. Would you be free from your passion and pride? There is power in the blood. Will you do service for Jesus your King? There is power in the blood. Hallelujah. Therefore, whatever you are doing, always bear in mind that every sin that the blood did not wash away will be required. So you have to try by all means to make sure that you allow the blood of Jesus to wash away every sin. And make it clean. There's power in the blood. As you are still alive, brethren, you have opportunity to try to do all it takes. Because when the head is off, there is no going back. 
People are dying daily, beloved brethren. You don't know when you are going to die. You don't know exactly day or hour Jesus will come. Please try. The reason why Jesus died for you is to deliver you from hell. Because hell is real and heaven is real. So when you hear the word of God, do not harden your heart. There's power in the blood. It's able to save you, it's able to deliver you, it's able to cleanse you. There is no sin he cannot forgive. It doesn't matter what you have done in the past. He's able to cleanse you. He that covered his sin will not prosper. Many people are ashamed to confess their sin. Many people are ashamed to do their restitution. Brethren, in hell, you cannot be ashamed. So as you are alive now, you have the opportunity to try, allow the blood of Jesus to cleanse you and make you whole. If you do this, Heaven will be your target in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, please invite your friends, your family, your wife, your husband, your children, your neighbor. Gather everybody together so that we will discuss the word of God together. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, in Africa, Asia, Europe, Canada, Australia, this is worldwide Bible study. You can participate. You can ask your question. We are going to answer any question you ask. If not, from where we are studying, you know, brethren, just ask any question. We'll be able to put light. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray. If you are a woman, please try to cover your hair. If you are a man, take away cap from your hair so that we will pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity given to us to dine at your table, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, the hour has come for us to hear your word. The Amen. entrance of your word gives us light. Amen. I put myself down that you may be seen. Let men and women that will hear the sound of my voice. Let them hear from the throne of grace, O oh God. Let your word do us good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every power of the enemy that will try to hinder the word of God, either by closing people's ear that they will not hear. I bind your powers and your pressure now. Be born in heaven Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, will bless your name. Thank you. That at the end, your name alone will be exalted to God. Amen. Thank you for having answer. Thank you, for in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you are all welcome to this Bible study again. The Lord is your strength. I want to say thank you for your encouragement and the, the question you are asking. If any answer is not okay for you, you can be able to ask again. If you are not satisfied with any answer, please don't be ashamed. Just ask. Say, please, I'm not clear in this area or in this area. We are in time. We don't need to be ashamed. Hallelujah. We have to try to do all we do, beloved brother, because time is short now. Look at all the signs accomplishing. Beloved brethren, do not waste your time. Because in hell, there's no going back. No place I beg. I want to go back. You can't be able to plead on that. So you have opportunity as you as you can still breathe in and breathe out. You have opportunity to do the right thing now. The topic this evening says, amend your ways. Amend your ways. You see, we know ourselves more than other people. You can pretend in the front of your pastor or your congregation. But you cannot pretend before God because God is spirit. We can cover our sins that nobody may know, but God is watching. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. So we have to try to amend our ways. The year is going to our end, beloved brethren. Let us amend our ways. So that when Jesus shall come at any time, or if you die, you will not miss heaven. But if you don't amend your ways now, you say, who oh, will talk to me? I can do what I like. I own my body. Beloved brethren, on that day, you are going to stand before God. All you have done in life, all will appear. You can't lie. There is no lawyer. There is no father, no mother. It's going to be between you and God. Nobody will be there. Your husband cannot stand with you. Your wife cannot stand with you. Your children cannot stand. We will give account of ourselves to God. That is why it is very important. That we should have made our ways. Pastor, I made your ways. Choir, I made your ways. Usher, I made your ways. Bishop, I made your ways. Pope, I made your ways. King, queens, I made your ways. Because God is not a respecter of anybody. I made your ways is a topic this evening. You know the area where you are not making up. Try to amend it. Try to correct it now. Do not postpone it to tomorrow. Just correct it now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We will start our reading this evening from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrew 12, 1. Hebrew 12, 1. Please bring out your Bible. Let us. Look at the word of God. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Let me read for us. Amend your ways. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. I read. Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of, of weaknesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us praise ha the lord hallelujah amen. Amen. amen amen my translation says wherefore see also are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and sin which does easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. We are on a race, beloved brethren. We are on a race, heavenly race. Remember, not everyone that starts a race will be able to accomplish it. We are on a race, beloved brethren. So if you are on a race and you are looking back, you will succeed. In this race of heaven, is forward ever, backward never. He said, let us run with patience. Why? The road is narrow. It's not wide. It's a narrow road. So we have to roll it with patience. Because many has fallen, beloved brethren. And they are looking for those who they want to draw along with them. Examine yourself whether you are in faith. Because you know yourself more than every other person. Your wife may not be able to know you. Your husband may not be able to know you. But you know yourself. Therefore, I made your ways as you are still alive now. You are not better than those who are dead now. Some die in the morning, some die in the afternoon, some are dying as we are speaking now. Where are they going to? Remember, hair is a large. Nothing goes there and comes out. It can never be filled up, beloved brethren. We are on a race. 
He said, let us lay aside. You know your shortcomings. You know the sin that easily beset you. Is it lying? Stealing? Arrogancy? Prideness? Jealousy? Fornication? Adultery? Many, brother, brother, every unrighteousness is a sin. Let us lay them aside. Let us confess them all and forget about them. Don't go back again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody wrote here, said, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. That is true. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. When you think that, oh, you know everything now in the Lord, nobody will correct you. Know that you are going back. You are not going to glory yet until you finally make it. That is why a pastor must be corrected, apostle must be corrected, bishop, pope, evangelist, prophet, prophetess, choirs, all church workers, everybody need correction because this word of God is for correction, for exhortation, for reproof, so that we will not miss heaven. So when you not think that you stand, the Bible says, let him that think that he stand, take heed, lest he fall. May you not fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Many people are falling, but they don't know that they are falling. Some are falling and they knew that they fell already. But God is wanting you to get up again. Put pride aside and start walking again. Like a child that learns how to walk. When you make a mistake, don't remain there. The child will stand again and keep on walking. This race to heaven, beloved brethren, is a narrow road. The road is not wide. Wherever you are falling, just get up again and say, Lord, I am sorry I made a mistake here or there. Confess to God. Confess to your husband, confess to your wife, confess to the congregation, then I made your ways, never go back. Day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. Brethren, I made your ways. Let us lay aside every weight of sin that easily beset us. That sin that will easily fall into. So people are Christian, but yet they still cause. So we say, oh, I don't know, and I don't want to cause again, but I soon find myself causing. That spirit needs to depart from you. So husband and wife, they still cause each other. Christian, but when you get to church, you become a saint. I met your ways. So men still raise up their hand and be their wife. But we get to church, you become a saint. I made your ways. So we men still grab their husband and say, you have to keep me today, scatter everything in the house. But when you get to church, you become a saint. I made your ways. So choir, they sing very well. But on Saturday, they'll commit fornication or adultery. On Sunday, you sing. I made your ways. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why? May you not serve God and end the hair in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May you not be where lesbian, homosexual, thieves, and all the rest will be as a child of God. May you not be the same place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For that not to happen to you, you have to amend your ways, accept correction, repent like a prodigal child. So that I will arise and go to my father. Amend your ways. What are you doing in secrecy? Amend your ways. You can repent of any area that you have found short in. It is very possible. Amend your ways is the topic this evening. That means look at your life with the word of God. Are you living a life of the word of God? 
Are you making human being your example or Jesus? The Bible says, look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And make your ways, beloved brethren. Don't cover that sin. You know, some people will say, oh, people will laugh at me if I confess. They will be ashamed. It doesn't matter what you have done. Just confess it. Hallelujah. Praise Don't cover it, beloved brethren. Because on that day, everything will be exposed. On the day of judgment, every secret thing will be exposed. So it is better now while you are alive, you make your confession, you make your restitution, you forgive those that offended you, you ask for forgiveness from those whom you have offended. Those that have labored for you without pay, you go and pay them their salary. And make your way every area. Humble yourself in the presence of the Lord so that God himself will lift you up. What you are not, don't tell people that that is who you are. No, and make your ways. That means correct yourself and do the right thing. There is no big sin. There is no small sin. Every unrighteousness is a sin. You want to lie to quickly get advantage of anything. Brethren, it will lead you to hell unless you confess them. And make your ways. Don't be too big that nobody will correct you. And make your ways. Thank God for King David. When God said nothing to him, he quickly admit. But today, people will say, who are you to talk to me? I own myself. I can do what I like. No, you can't do what you like because Jesus has bought you with a price. He died. That temple of yours belongs to him. Therefore, I made your ways. Just take correction and do the right thing, beloved brethren. Every sin, weight of sin that easily beset you, run away from them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And made your ways is the topic this evening. Which area are you still struggling? Try to amend your ways. Because the Bible says, we have foreseen, we also have a, a we are compassed about with a great class of weaknesses. Angels are watching you. Jesus is watching you. Holy Spirit is watching you. Devil is also watching you. Don't think you can hide from your pastor or from your congregation. And make your ways and do the right thing. Don't be ashamed. Let people laugh at you now. It is better. So that you will make heaven. If you cover any sin now, on that day it shall be exposed. And you are going to hear the parts. By then it is too late. So you have to amend your ways. Very possible. Do the right thing, beloved brethren. Run away from every sin that easily besets you. Is this sin of the biro? You cheat with biro, you instead of one, you write seven. Instead of zero, you write eight. And make your ways. Try to do the right thing. Where you are walking, if that paper does not belong to you, and make your ways. And make that paper. Tell the boss that this paper does not belong to me. Just and make your ways. People may call you fool. But you are a fool for Jesus because we don't know when he's going to come. You don't know when you are going to die. Yesterday is gone. You only have now. Tomorrow may not be yours. What is that thing, beloved brethren, that you don't want to expose? You said, I can never expose this one. Please, don't cover any sin at all. Expose the work of darkness. Because Jesus has called you out of 
darkness into a marvelous light. So therefore, you have to expose all works of darkness now. Expose them. Let devil be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise Whatever you have done on behalf of your wife or husband, expose it. Pastor, whatever you have done in the secret to gain more people to the church, expose them all. Repent from them. Confess your sin. Jesus is able to forgive you. Don't let anybody tell you that you will not be forgiven. Any sin you confess and forsake them, Jesus is able to cleanse you and make you whole again. Just amend your ways. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just amend your way. Take away shame away. Because in hell, you will not be ashamed. The devil will torment anyone that refuses to amend his or her ways now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, brethren, here is the gathering of the heavenly candidates in true holiness and righteousness. Jesus is coming for a glorious church without spot or wrinkle. It's coming for those who are prepared to amend their ways. It's coming for those without spot or wrinkle. Those who are ready to make their confession, their restitution, forgiving those who have offended them, ask for forgiveness from whom they have wronged. The money you defraud people, returning them back to the owner. The company where you are working, you have stolen, returning the money back. If you don't have the money, go and beg them. You are sorry you took this money. You don't have, please forgive me. Ask for forgiveness. Then it will no more be a secret. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Brethren, you must amend your ways before it is too late. Many people will sleep this evening. Many will not see tomorrow. But do you know where your time will be? You don't know. Therefore, it is good now that you amend your ways. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us read 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Amend your ways is the topic. Brethren, the year is coming to an end. Try to run away from every sin that is easily besetting you. First Corinthians chapter second Corinthians chapter seven verse one. Second Corinthians chapter seven verse one. I read. Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all defilement of flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness. In the fear of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have it therefore these promises. Which promise? The promise that Jesus made in John chapter 14. He said, I, he said let not your heart be troubled. Believe in me. And I'll say, my father, I am going to prepare a place for you. When I'm done, I'll come and take you to myself. It's a promise that is coming back again. So, have all these promises now. What do we do? Beloved, he said, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh. Flesh that you are nourishing. Flesh that you are bleaching. Flesh that you are tattooing. Flesh that you are putting everything upon. Flesh that you are putting wig upon. Flesh that you put necklace upon. Flesh that you put earring upon. Flesh that you dress naked. And spirit also. Remember, whatsoever comes out of a man, defy a man. Evil thoughts defies a man. You cannot be going to church and you are practicing witchcraft or wizard. Or you are living in a court. 
and expect to see Jesus on the last day is not possible. Amend your ways. Denounce that courtesy now. Denounce that witchcraft policy now. Denounce that wizard policy now as you are still alive. Amend your ways. You can be a pastor and be practicing witchcraft and wizard is possible. You can be a pastor and be working with Illuminati is possible. But you have to amend your ways now. Confess your sins before God, before the congregation. Amend your ways. Run away from them. Cleanse yourself, your body and your spirit. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Not in the fear of man. In the fear of God. Because God is the only one that can kill a man and cast him or her to hell. Human beings can kill the flesh, but they cannot cast you to hell. Hallelujah. Having therefore these promises that we are waiting upon him, he's coming back again. If you have this hope, you will purify yourself as he is pure. Therefore, I made your ways. Are you, are you a liar? I made your ways. Where you are walking, you have defrauded the bear. I made your ways. The time of your job is 8 o'clock. You are writing 7 or you are writing 9. I made your ways. Your real name, you are not using them. You are using fake name. I made your ways. Your age, you are not using the right one. And made your ways. Some people will be asking, Oh, is this why it's sin also? It is a sin. Because when you are 20 and you are writing 18, you become a sin. So you have to amend your ways. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So people in Facebook, they say they want to reduce their age, mm. they put the wrong one. They say you don't want people to know about their age. It's a sin. Please, I made it now, as you are hearing now. I made it. Put the right age. If you want, to, if you don't want to put your age, don't put your age. But don't lie with your age. Put the right one. Try. Because you cannot say you did not hear. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And make your ways is the topic this evening. If you have Bible, your paper, write down your question as you are going to ask. The time comes, we'll open the line. Then you can ask your question. The topic is amend your ways. Nobody is too big to be corrected. Amend your ways. Wife, correct your husband. Husband, correct your wife. You know, this uh, story of uh, Ananias and Sapphira, if one of them was able to correct the other one, they wouldn't have both died the same day. They compromise together. Husband and wife, please don't compromise together. Wife, your husband is saying, let us compromise. Say, no, my husband, I don't want to go to hell. Husband, your wife is saying, let us compromise. Say, no, my wife, I don't want to go to hell. Please. That is why we are there for each other. To correct ourselves. Ananias and Sapphira, they pray together. Uh, they say to themselves, we are going to say one mouth. That is why when the man came first, they asked him, is it how much you said your property? Say yes. Peter said, why have you lied to the Holy Spirit? You don't lie to man. He fell down and died. His head straight. Some of you say, oh, God is too good. God is a loving father. He doesn't cast people to hell. Hell is a place of torment. There is no respect of persons with God. Pastor that refused to amend his way will be cast into hell. Bishop that refused to take correction will be cast into hell. Apostle that refuses to amend his or her way, you will be cast into hell. Every child of God that refuses to be corrected, you will be cast into hell. So as you are alive now, amend your ways. Correct yourself. Do the right thing now. 
Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us clean ourselves from all filthiness, from all dirtiness, from all sin of the flesh and of spirit, perfecting holiness. Because without holiness, beloved brethren, without righteousness, you can't be able to see him. So, as you are alive now, you still have breath of life. You are not better than those who are dead. God gave you the opportunity so that you'll be able to have a change of mind like a prodigal child. He said, I will arise, I will go to my father. I will say unto him, I have seen. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Take me as a higher servant. Beloved brethren, there is no body that cannot be corrected with the word of God. You may be the general overseer of your ministry. You may have churches all over the whole world. If you are not preaching the right thing, remember Jesus said, on that day, I will say to some, the part, I know you not. Even though they will say, oh, we heal in your name. You can open the blind to see. You can make a cripple to walk. You can make a dead to rise. It doesn't matter to God. If you still live in sin or do all these things with fake power, you will hear on that day, the past. May that not be your portion. For that not to be your portion now, you have to have made your ways. Jesus is coming for a glorious church without spot or wrinkle. If there's wrinkle found in you, beloved brethren, you will be able to go with him. The eye of a sinner cannot see God. Cleanse yourself, every fittiness of the flesh and spirit. You say you can't do without attachment. You can't do without earring. You can't do without necklace. You can't do without exposing your body. Beloved brethren, on that day, nobody will defend you. Therefore, I made your ways now. Harden not your heart as you are hearing the word of God. Hallelujah. I made your ways. Try. Beloved brethren, people will laugh at you. It is better. People will say, hey, hey, oh, you, this is what you are doing in secret. Say, yes, I did it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let them laugh at you. But heaven will rejoice. When you finally go in. But when you are ashamed now, heaven will reject you. And you will say, had I know. What are you doing in secrecy when nobody is there? What are you doing when pastor or church member are not there? When you are taking shower, what are you doing? When you lock the door, you are in door alone. What are you doing? When you are working, when you are employed, when your boss is not there, <coughs> what are you doing? Do you just sit down? Or when you see the boss coming, you start working and be trying to do all these things? Beloved brethren, anyone that is pretending will not go to heaven. The standard of God is sure. Having this readiness. If you measure the name of God, beloved brethren, you must depart from sin. There's no big sin. There's no small sin. God will not say, oh, you are a pastor, you are a bishop, you are a pope. No. Any soul that sinneth shall die. And made your ways. Hallelujah. Look God. at the word of God. Is your life reflecting a child of God? You sing like angel. Everybody are happy. But your life does it reflect the song you are singing? Are you genuinely born again? Have you done your restitution? Have you forgiven those who have offended you? Have you asked for forgiveness from those whom you have offended? Husband, don't be too big to ask your wife to forgive you. Say, my wife, forgive me, I'm sorry. Wife, don't be too proud to ask for forgiveness. My husband, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. 
Those that have labored for you, go and pay them their wages. You say, what would they do? Please amend your ways. You took somebody's land by force. You build your house there. Please, if the owner of the land refuses to take money from you, leave the land and go away. It is better you go to heaven than go to hell. And make your ways. The road to heaven is narrow. It's not wide. Many are called. Few are going to be choosing. As it was in the days of Noah, so it's going to be. In the time of Noah, eight souls were saved. If Jesus comes today in the whole world, how many souls will be saved? People go to church day in day out. But the lifestyle is not reflecting Jesus. Paul said, my heart desire and prayer for Israel is that, that they may be saved. He said they have the zeal, but not according to knowledge. People call the name of Jesus. We call him Lord, Lord, but we don't do what he's telling us to do. We live as if we don't even know him at all. Many of you are still denying Jesus. In school, in where you are working, in where you are doing business, you deny him. You crucify him daily by living in secret sin. You say, nobody sees me, but God is watching. Hallelujah. The Lord. Angels are watching. Devil is also watching you. You can deceive your fellow man, but you can't deceive God. But as you have breath of life now, and made your ways. Pastors, start teaching your people the right doctrine. Don't papa them to hell. Tell them to run away from sin. Tell them to dress properly. Tell them that every soul that sinned shall die. Tell them that Jesus is coming for a glorious church without spot or wrinkle. Stop making them to be jumping up and down. Promising them they will build a house tomorrow. They will go to America next day. All this is an addition. That is not the message. Their soul is important to God. Save their soul, Pastor. Please tell them the truth. Hallelujah. The Lord. Even though they are offended, so many of God are, are praying. They say, we will lose member. Are you the owner of the member? Jesus said, I will build my church. Jesus is the one building the church. Mm. Any man of God that is able to leave five people to heaven, he has done a great job. If you are able to leave five people to heaven, you have done a great job. Stop building your pocket. Jesus was preaching, was teaching, and people were leaving. Because whenever Jesus is teaching, nobody wants to hear. But today, what do we hear in the church? Write down, Pastor. Give it to us, Pastor. People go and sow money on the altar. You say, I'm tapping from anointing. You are tapping from sweat. Not anointing. Anointing is not there. Your life must change. Hallelujah. I made your ways. Jesus was teaching and the people were leaving. Jesus even looked at the disciple. He said, Peter, your people are going away. Can't you go? Peter said, to whom shall we go? Thou have the words of eternal life. The truth is bitter, beloved brethren. That is why the Bible says the road is narrow. The truth is bitter. No man of God wants to preach the truth anymore. They want to dilute it to make the people to be happy. No, a pastor will see a lady that does not dress well, a lady that paints her mouth like Jezebel. You are telling that person you are beautiful. You are committing sin, pastor. You are a partaker. Hallelujah. You are a partaker. Please don't be a partaker of another man's sin. Rebuke sin where you see sin, even though that person paid the highest tax in your ministry. Rebuke sin. Please. What shall it profit a man if you get the whole world and lose your soul and made your ways? 
church member and made your ways. You know, these days, people, so we made these days, they will do payment in their hair, do everything in their hair and cover it up. Who are you deceiving? You can't deceive God. Who are you deceiving? Who? I made your ways. Heaven is real and hell is real, please. Run away from every appearance of evil. I made your ways. Jesus is the owner of the church. The church does not belong to any pastor at all. Jesus is the owner. He's one building his church. Say the truth. If they all want to run, they run away. Keep on saying the truth. Because thou shalt know the truth and the truth will set you free so that you will not be condemned at the end. Hallelujah. The Lord. And made your ways is a topic this evening, beloved brethren. What is that secret you say you are going to expose? May you try to expose it, beloved brethren. Hallelujah. The Jesus is coming. He's already at the door. How prepared are you? It doesn't matter you build churches all over the whole world. It doesn't matter you single-handedly single -handedly build a church and dedicate it for God. All these things are not what matter to God. What matter to God is how do you serve God? Did you serve God in spirit and in truth? Are you still compromising? Sister, are you lowering your standard so that you'll be able to get job? Remember, Daniel, he said, I will not defy myself with the king's meat. There is no excuse on that day. Because Joseph will be a witness against many people and said, I have opportunity to lie down with the mother of the house, but I refuse. Daniel will say, I was in a foreign land. Like many people are saying, we are in Europe now. We have to be a European. You cannot be like a European. The standard of God in Africa is the same in Europe. Hallelujah. People say, oh, why can't I wear trouser? Women, why can't I wear trouser? I'm in Europe and Philico. Beloved brethren, try to wear skirt that is thick. Impossibly wear two. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. I made your ways. God will not accept any excuses on that day. You are a woman. Trouser does not belong to you. Anything that pertains a man, a woman must not wear it. Anything that pertains a woman, a man must not wear it. No excuse. Don't be deceived that there's a women trouser, no women trouser. We are civilized these days. Go and ask your grandmother in the village, wherever they are. They will tell you that any woman that wears trousers is a harlot. Today, pastor's wife can wear trousers. They can even be jumping up and down in the pipit. Beloved brethren, that is why the Bible says many are called, few are going to be choosing. Remember in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, four supposed to be saved, but only three make it. The Bible says, Lord's wife, look back. Hallelujah. The there is no sin God cannot forgive. The problem is, are you ready to admit that you are a sinner? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to amend your ways? This is your body that you are pampering. This is sand. The body you are painting. The eyelash you are putting. Fake nail you are using. Artificial hair you are putting in your hair. All these things are vanity. Please amend your ways. Because you don't know if you will sleep tonight, if you will see tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Therefore, try to amend your ways. Because God is ready to forgive you. Before we go, let us quickly read the Second Chronicles 7, 13 to 14. Then we we'll pray. If you have your question, start putting it down now, please. You can ask your question. If pertaining to all that topic, you can ask. We want to close with here, Second Chronicles 7, 13 and 14. Remember the topic is Amed Your Ways, part one. Amed Your Ways, 
part one. Second to chapter seven. Thirteen to fourteen. Yes, it's thirteen. I read. Okay. If I shut off the heavens mm. so that there is no rain, mm. or if I command the locusts to devoid the land, or okay. if I send pestilence mm. among my people. Yes. Fourteen. And my people who are called by my name okay. humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, mm. will forgive their sin, and we hear their land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what God wants from us. It's not the will of God that any man should perish. God don't want you to go to hell. Hell is not made for human beings. Hell is made for devil and their agents. He said, if, if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, God can shut your heaven. Your heaven is that thing that is making it to be pompous. That your heaven is that thing that makes you to be disobedient to God. Your heaven is that thing that makes you know, to obey God. God said, if I shut it, because there are times God wants to draw you to Himself, He will shut that thing that is making it to be jumping up and down. He said, If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain. If I command locals to devour the land, or if I say pestilence among my people, God can do this. Not everything we say it is devil, it is devil, it is devil. God can command pestilence to devour your crops. If he refuses to hack it to his word, he said, If my people now, not unbeliever, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways. This is what God wants us to do. He wants us to turn away from our wicked ways. Every appearance of evil, every secret sin, He wants us to turn away. He hates sin. He's angry with the wicked every day. Hallelujah. Praise Turn away from wicked ways. Turn away from what you are doing secretly in the school, where you are doing business, where you are working. If my people will turn away from their wicked ways, then we go here from heaven. He said, He will heal our land. Your land can be anything at all. Your land can be your health. Your land can be your ministry. Your land can be your business. He will heal your land. To obey His brother's sacrifice. Hallelujah. Are we ready to amend our ways, beloved? Tomorrow may be too late. Are you still ashamed to do your restitution? Are you ashamed to confess? Are you ashamed to ask for forgiveness? Do you harbor somebody's words in your heart? Are there any people you don't greet at all? Are there anyone you don't want to hear their name at all mention? Amend your ways. Because Jesus is already at the door. If you have a question, start sending your question, sending your question now. The WhatsApp number is there, beloved brethren. Try to use it. The topic is amend your ways. Because tomorrow may be too late. Amend your ways. It's coming like a thief in the night. In the twinkle of an hour, the trumpet shall sound. Pastors, when you are being corrected, do you take correction or you still hiding your heart? You are teaching what is not biblical. You don't want to take correction. You say you have said it, you have said it. I made your ways. Because God is not a respecter of anybody. You can be a preacher right from youth. When you make mistake, come back to your senses and look at the word of God. David made mistake. And when Nata corrected him, he fell and he broke down. He accepted the correction. He repented. This is what God wants from us, beloved brethren. 
Put away pride. Put away arrogance. Put away jealousy. Put away hatred. Miles. Put them aside. Let us lay aside every weight of sin. You don't regard human beings. You look at people like animal because of the little change that you have. Put them aside. Amend your ways is the topic tonight. This is part one. We are going to continue by the grace of God if Jesus tarries. Amend your ways. What is it that is hard? You don't have to confess it. Oh, if you confess it, your husband will drive you. It doesn't matter. Among your children, if you know your husband is not the owner of all, tell him. It is better now, tell him. Say, my husband, I'm sorry. I have 20 children or have 10 children. Two of them are not yours. Tell him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I made your ways. We are going to pray, beloved brethren. Remember the topic, I made your ways. Because tomorrow may be too late. Where you are walking, you have stolen from there, I made your ways. That paper you are using does not belong to you. I made your ways. Correct it. In Facebook or WhatsApp, the date of birth that you forged there, I made your ways. May you not labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Don't be ashamed, beloved brethren. So we are going to pray. If there's no question, if you have your private question that you want, you don't want to ask online. If I'm off the line, you can still call, and you can still write. My face, my 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 WhatsApp number is there. You can contact me through WhatsApp. You can give me a call, or you can write through Facebook. Beloved brethren, there is no more time. Remember, Jesus is coming for a glorious church without spot or wrinkle. If there's spot in your body, there's spot in your life, that person will hear the parts. Hallelujah. The there's no big sin. There's no small sin. Every unrighteousness is a sin. May God help us to obey in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you. God will bless your name. Yes, Lord. Lord, your people have heard your word of God. Yes. Jesus, as many as are ready to amend their ways of God, may you give them the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Take away shame away from the people, Lord God. Let them confess their sins of God rightly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray as many want to serve you in holiness and righteousness. Those that want to live their life, oh God, according to your word. Is there anyone sick? Father, I release your healing power upon their life. Amen. Right from their head to their toes. Be healed now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, is there anyone looking unto you for the fruit of the womb? I declare that their womb will open and receive fruit now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You say there shall be no barrenness in the land of God. Amen. Father, we declare that you satisfy them with your heart desire. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Those that are crying, oh God, wipe away their tears, oh Lord God. Mm. Father, we thank you. Thank you Jesus. God will bless your name. Mm. Lord, as I have spoken your word, every power of darkness, they want to fight the word of God. I bind your powers and your precious. Mm. They burn in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Cover myself, my wife, and children with the blood of Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you have not yet received Jesus, brethren, say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word tonight. I come to you in repentance. Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. Cancel my name from the book of death. Put my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. If you are praying this type of prayer, you are welcome to the body of Christ. This is the first step. You need a place where you'll be taught on how to serve God in holiness and righteousness. You need a place on how you'll be taught how to do your restitution. You must forgive as many that have offended you. You must ask for forgiveness. You need a place to be taught. If you live in Europe, 
We are here in Republic of Ireland, Dublin, 15. It's where we are. Join us every Monday by five. We start our prayer meeting every Monday. Then we go online after that. Every Wednesday, we have Bible study first in the church from five o'clock. You can join us before we go online. Every Sunday by 12 noon, we have our church services. Try to join us and God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Those of you that live in Nigeria, especially, we have a place at Wari, Abudu, and uh, Bini City. The address of our pastors are there. Anyone close to you, you can try to fellowship with them. God will bless you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Those of you that hear or understand a dual language, I will be online this coming Wednesday if Jesus tarries with the same topic. But I'll be using a dual language and a dual Bible to interpret this topic again to those who hear a dual language. Please, if your your parents can hear a dual language or your friends, try to buy them a type of phone that can make them to see me direct. So that as I'm teaching with a dual Bible and a dual language, they will be able to understand what I'm saying. Remember, bless and rapture ready. Till we meet again, if Jesus tarries, in Jesus' name. Bye.